My idea of design is related to industry, which means to the production of objects, not as one-offs, but in, in certain multiplication quantity. And that raises completely different issues. It raises issues of, um, of production, of resources, economy. A product can be more specific and even more extreme or more radical because um, even if it polarizes, even if some people will not like it, then at least some others will like it. The avant-garde really is, is that. It's, it's the kind of a movement which is ahead of its time, ahead of the large acceptance. Ahead doesn't necessarily mean forward. Ahead could also be just their thinking sideways. Sometimes it's, it needs that, that one product to, to push a boundary. And maybe even this one product will not be the successful one, but it will inspire other things that will follow. Even the mistakes we make, they're important in order to move on. Um, as designers, we work in a, in a kind of process where we're making mistakes. And this idea of failure it forms part of what we do always. And I, I always like that. When avant-garde ideas or progressive ideas, they, they, um, they turn into mainstream. I think it's a natural thing to happen and I'm not against it at all. And I think for the artist it just means to move on. I'm happy to push, push this and I'm, I'm happy to even polarize um, and provoke. But um, whenever I go these kind of steps, I'm conscious about it and I, I want to be sure about why I'm doing it. Um, in this particular in this particular case, I think we found good balance between something kind of strange, different, uh, and, and, but something actually quite common. On the one hand, we are pushing boundaries in terms of material and the whole conception of how it's built. But for me, the result is fairly, I wouldn't say common, but it's something that we've seen before. I mean, it looks like an armchair and that's what it is. comfort of a piece of furniture is not only the ergonomic comfort, but it's the comfort that it's something very familiar, something nice. You know, we live with these things. They are part of our life. Um, pieces of furniture have characters. Um, they're domestic animals. And I think in, in that way it's very, um, has to be very well considered in how far we, we kind of alienate these things.